From deadly fish to perilous fruit, the world is full of foods that can kill you. But why do people still eat them? Find out in this interesting video. Let's look at the most dangerous food on earth. The main reason some foods are dangerous is because they contain naturally occurring toxins. The first one in this video is fugu fish, aka puffer fish. They are considered one of the most dangerous foods in the world. This is because it contains a toxin called tetrodotoxin, which is a very potent neurotoxin. This toxin is so dangerous that just one milligram of it is enough to kill a person. Despite the danger, fugu fish is considered a delicacy in Japan, where specially trained chefs prepare it in a way that removes most of the toxin. However, there are still around 10 deaths per year in Japan from fugu poisoning. There are a few reasons why people still enjoy eating fugu fish, despite the risks. One reason is that fugu fish is considered a luxury item in Japan, and it is often very expensive. It is also considered a status symbol to be able to eat fugu fish, as it is seen as a sign of wealth and power. In addition, the preparation of fugu fish is considered an art form in Japan, and the chefs who prepare it are highly respected. Some people simply enjoy the taste of fugu fish, despite the risks. There's only one thing that you can do to avoid or lessen the risk of fugu poisoning. The thing is to only eat fugu fish that has been prepared by a licensed chef. In Japan, there is a rigorous training and certification process for chefs who prepare fugu fish. It is also important to be aware of the symptoms of fugu poisoning, which include numbness, tingling, and paralysis. If these symptoms occur after eating fugu fish, it is important to seek medical attention immediately. But it's better to hold your throat. Number 2. Aki. Aki fruit is another food that can be dangerous if not prepared properly. Aki fruit is native to West Africa but it is also widely consumed in Jamaica. Aki fruit contains a toxin called hypoglycine A, which can cause a serious illness called Jamaican vomiting sickness. Symptoms of this illness include vomiting, diarrhea, and low blood sugar. Aki fruit must be carefully prepared to remove the toxic parts, and it should only be eaten when it is fully ripe. When properly prepared, aki fruit is considered a delicacy and is used in many traditional dishes in Jamaica. There are a few reasons why people in Jamaica and other parts of the world continue to eat aki fruit despite the risks. One reason is that aki fruit is an important source of nutrition, especially for people who are poor or have limited access to other foods. Aki fruit is high in protein and fiber, and it is also a good source of vitamins and minerals. In addition, the taste of aki fruit is unique and is considered to be delicious by many people. And finally, aki fruit is a traditional food in Jamaica and is considered part of the country's culture and heritage. Number 3. The third food we'll be discussing is kidney beans. Kidney beans contain a toxin called phytohemagglutinin, which can cause serious illness if not properly prepared. This toxin is destroyed when the beans are cooked thoroughly so it is important to follow proper cooking instructions when preparing kidney beans. Symptoms of phytohemagglutinin poisoning include nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Some people may also experience low blood pressure and dizziness. Kidney beans are popular because they are a good source of protein, fiber, and other nutrients. They are also inexpensive and easy to find in many parts of the world. To avoid the risk of illness, kidney beans should be soaked for at least 5 hours before cooking. They should then be cooked at a simmer for at least 10 minutes to destroy the toxin. Can kidney beans are already cooked and are safe to eat as long as they are heated thoroughly before consumption? You should also never eat raw or undercooked kidney beans. The fourth dangerous food we'll be discussing is cassava. Cassava is a root vegetable that is a staple food in many parts of Africa, Asia, and South America. It contains a toxin called cyanogenic glycosides, which can cause a condition called Konzo if not properly prepared. Konzo is a neurological disorder that causes paralysis and can lead to death if left untreated. Symptoms of Konzo include weakness, paralysis, and spasticity. Cassava should be thoroughly cooked before consumption, and the leaves should not be eaten at all. Despite the risks, cassava is a popular food because it is affordable and can be grown in many parts of the world. 
It is also very versatile and can be used in a variety of dishes, such as cassava bread, fufu, and tapioca pudding. In addition, cassava is a good source of calories and carbohydrates. However, people should be aware of the risks and take steps to ensure that they are preparing cassava safely. Number 5. The fifth dangerous food we'll be discussing is bitter almonds. Bitter almonds contain a toxin called amygdalin, which can cause cyanide poisoning. The toxin is found in the skin and pit of the almond, so it is important to avoid eating bitter almonds raw. Cooking can destroy the toxin, but bitter almonds should not be consumed even after cooking. Bitter almonds can be difficult to distinguish from regular almonds, so it is best to avoid eating any raw almonds. People love bitter almonds because of their unique flavor and aroma. They are often used in desserts, pastries, and confectionaries because of their flavor. However, it is important to only consume bitter almonds that have been treated to remove the toxin. These treated almonds are called sweet almonds and can be found in grocery stores. It is best to avoid buying or eating any almond products that are labeled as bitter or wild. Number 6. Rhubarb. Rhubarb is a common ingredient in desserts and jams, but it can be dangerous if not prepared properly. Rhubarb leaves and roots contain a toxin called oxalic acid, which can cause kidney damage and even death if consumed in large quantities. Rhubarb stems are safe to eat, but they should be cooked thoroughly before consumption. The leaves and roots should never be eaten, even if they have been cooked. Many people love rhubarb because of its tangy, tart flavor. It is often used in pies, cobblers, and jams because it adds a unique flavor and color. It's important to always prepare rhubarb properly by discarding the leaves and roots and cooking the stems thoroughly. Avoiding eating large quantities of rhubarb is also important, as the oxalic acid in rhubarb can build up in the body and cause health problems. Next up is number 7. The seventh dangerous food we'll be discussing is raw sprouts. Raw sprouts, such as alfalfa, mung bean, and clover sprouts, can be contaminated with bacteria such as salmonella, E. coli, and listeria. These bacteria can cause food poisoning, which can lead to diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps. It is best to avoid eating raw sprouts and always cook them thoroughly before consuming. People love eating raw sprouts because they add crunch and flavor to salads and sandwiches. They also provide a good source of nutrients like fiber, vitamins, and minerals. However, the risks of eating raw sprouts outweigh the benefits. To avoid food poisoning, only eat sprouts that have been thoroughly cooked. You can also buy sprouts that have been treated with a heating process to kill bacteria. This process does not affect the nutritional value of the sprouts. Number 8 on our list of dangerous foods is raw eggs. Raw eggs may contain salmonella, a bacteria that can cause food poisoning. Salmonella can cause symptoms like diarrhea, vomiting, fever, and abdominal cramps. It is important to only consume eggs that have been thoroughly cooked, as this will kill any salmonella bacteria that may be present. Many people love eating raw eggs because of the texture and flavor they add to dishes like hollandaise sauce, aioli and Caesar salad dressing. However, the risk of food poisoning is not worth it. The best way to avoid food poisoning from raw eggs is to cook them thoroughly. If you do choose to eat raw eggs, it is important to buy pasteurized eggs, as these have been treated to kill bacteria like salmonella. We're almost there. For our ninth dangerous food, we'll be discussing a common ingredient in many kitchens, raw flour. Raw flour can contain E. coli, which is a bacteria that can cause food poisoning. Raw flour should always be cooked before eating, as cooking kills the bacteria and makes it safe to eat. Common dishes that contain raw flour include raw cookie dough and cake batter. So, there you have it. Our list of the top 9 dangerous foods. While some of these foods are delicious and tempting, it's important to remember the risks associated with eating them. So, the next time you're tempted to eat any of these mentioned here, think twice. Your health is more important than that delicious treat. Thanks for joining me on this journey through the world of dangerous foods. Remember to always cook your food thoroughly and stay safe out there. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one. 
I love chatting with you all, and I can't wait to discuss more interesting topics in the future. Remember, knowledge is power, so keep learning and exploring the world around you.